Hello everyone, this is Asnoitje here. Welcome to Asnoitje Audio. So I'm going to be talking about in this audio recording um, the topic of dating an emotionally unavailable man. This is extremely common when I come across certain scenarios uh, when I'm doing readings for my clients. And as many of you know, I'm able to, uh, through my cards, see what it is that the person is feeling towards the other individual. And so I explain this to you and teach you what it is that this person's going through. That way it gives you a better understanding of where this person's coming from and how you should um, react um, in terms of, you know, moving this connection forward or maybe stopping it altogether. So there are a few things. There are some females, so this is mainly um, meant for women who are dating men, this particular video, and I will be creating other videos um, with, you know, issues with different gendered uh, people as well. Now, when you are, when you're meeting somebody and you definitely look into their eyes and there's that spark, you have this intense connection really nice connection and there's this sensual feeling the desire between the both of you is quite strong and so you become intimate and over time you realize that what the hell this guy only wants me for sex so some of you might realize this and you may notice this. Some of you might not think of, of this because you actually haven't experienced it. You haven't experienced what love is 100% versus what lust is only. Some people actually confuse that infatuation and that lust and think that this is the way the man actually expresses himself. There's other ways that men express themselves. Every man has a different way of loving a woman. Not all men actually express it through sex, which is the weirdest thing. Um, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Now, the situation that typically I've seen with my clients, and um, many of you know my clients are from all around the world, which is absolutely amazing. That's just, um, I mean, I'm just shocked that that's even gotten that far. But there's a lot of men out there, and each man from a different culture is different, Right? Everybody thinks differently, they're born and raised differently, their beliefs are different. And so because of this, their behavior towards a woman will be different. Not all men are the same, just like not all women are the same. Typically what I have seen when a man is ignoring a woman, a few things. Either a woman has said something that has really upset him, but did he tell you about it? That's the question. No, he didn't. Why is that? Because this person realizes that when you said that you have feelings, or maybe you said you love them, they realize that they actually cannot give to you what it is that you seek. It is the strangest phenomenon that I've seen. Men seem like a-holes sometimes because of what they do to women when they break our hearts when they ghost us when they don't talk to us and they leave that's what I used to think as well however with the type of feelings and emotions in the cards that come through when I do these readings I'm pretty shocked because the man actually loves the woman this guy can actually love you but he doesn't want to hurt you why because he actually cares about you too much. And so from some twisted way that a man sometimes thinks, and this is not all men, okay? This is just a few men. But in my readings, I've seen men sacrifice their own love and their own heart because they don't feel that they're worthy of being with a woman who is so sweet and wonderful as you. It's a very different kind of thought process, and that's why men are men and women are women. That's why we're different. In a way, I have seen in certain readings that a man is protecting a woman by deliberately keeping his distance from her. Why is he protecting her? 
How is keeping distance and how is breaking our hearts helpful? Well, from his point of view, if he was to have stayed longer in this connection, the love and the bond would have only grown more. But if he is able to pull away and keep his distance and keep you at a distance, then he knows that maybe she won't really fall in love with me. That way, she won't get hurt if I keep my distance. A man that does that, my dears, only does that because he actually cares about you, because he has respect for the type of female that you are, because he sees the unconditional love that you give to him, because he sees the nurturing side of you and the nourishing side of you that you're ready to give to him every single minute. He sees this. And he knows that he cannot give to you that love, that affection, everything that you deserve. He knows he can't give it to you. So why would he be evil and take it from you? Why would he joke and why would he play you? Why would he end up being in a relationship only to dump you later? The majority of men don't do this. The majority of men in the heart are actually good. They actually, like I said, in their own twisted way, they think that they are protecting a woman by staying away from her. It's the weirdest phenomena. I still don't get it. I don't know why and how, but from their perspective... They don't talk much, do they? Men are not very expressive. They tend to keep to themselves. And like I've mentioned in other videos, boys don't cry. That's what the philosophy is on planet Earth. Boys don't cry internationally. But I don't like that because they do cry. They need to cry. Men are human beings and they have feelings and emotions that are always covered, that are always trying to be amplified that, oh, I'm macho. I can do this. I can do that. Yeah, sure. And then at the end of the night, the dude's drinking. Or he's partying or he's trying to distract himself from what really is bothering him. The majority of the time for ladies out there that are listening to this, the majority of the time I have seen that these men that pull away from a woman are keeping very distant. They're keeping their distance from them. It's because they love them so much that they just don't feel that they could possibly see her cry. They don't know how to handle a woman that is crying. They don't want to be that bad man that actually made her cry. And so before things get really bad, the man pulls away. He goes back into his man cave. He starts to ignore the woman. This is typical when the woman starts to have feelings for him. Now, in addition to this, yes, he loves the girl, but why isn't he pursuing her if he loves her? Why, why is that a problem? Because he feels guilty on the inside that he's not good enough for her. Because he knows his habits are bad. Because he knows she's a good girl. He doesn't want to taint her. He doesn't want to make her dirty. He doesn't want to corrupt her. No matter how dirty we are, some guys still think we're very innocent, which is cute. But this is something that happens. A lot of men have this feeling towards women. And it is true that to some degree we are quite cute and naive and sweet. This is why men love us. This is why women are adorable. They are the protectors. They're supposed to be protecting females. Historically, that's the way it's been throughout centuries, right? Right now, with many movements, um, things have changed. However, genes don't change. Genetics don't change. Humans can't change like that. There are these instincts that will never, ever change because that defines a person. Here we have a situation where sometimes a man ends up ignoring a woman because he just can't be with her. Now, the next question would be, why can't he be with her? Well, through my readings, I have actually seen that there's a few things. And it's very um, normal and natural. All of us go through this, actually. Some of the reasons are because they have seen and witnessed certain things in their life through their parents where the connection just never worked out. Maybe they're divorced. 
maybe they were abused when they were younger. The recent, most recent relationship that this man would have had, maybe the woman broke his heart. Or maybe he did the same thing to her. There is trauma involved when somebody is emotionally unavailable. Every human has emotions. And sometimes that negative energy, some of you know that I help and I teach how to remove negative energy from your lives. It's a negative energy that also latches on to a person who is very anxious, sad, depressed, lonely, angry even. So there is, in addition to the mindset that this person has that they grew up with, with that trauma, the trauma is also negative energy. It attracts negative energy. So these negative energies do actually bring down a person. And it takes over the behavior, the actions, the interactions, the reactions that somebody may have. Negative energies do that. Now, why am I talking about negative energies? Because when we have trauma, when we have sadness, anxiety, um, things that are not really good for us, um, for our greater good, those low vibrational energies, they do attract negative energies. That's demons and evil spirits and sometimes even jinns. Now, I have, if some of you are interested, I do have packages to help you get rid of that. One of the biggest ones I have is the Holy Light Package. It's a self-help guide. It's on my website, asnoitia.com, www.asnoitia.com. So you can ha definitely have a look at that. It's called the Holy Light Package. That's a self-help guide. I also do chakra checkups where I check your chakras, but that's more for your health and your energy. Now, going back to why the person feels like this, there are a variety of reasons, right? And the thing is, they don't want to repeat history. They don't want to go through the same thing over again. And honestly, who does, right? As females, we don't want to do that. We don't want to go through something traumatic again. The only thing is we end up telling our life history to almost everybody. I, I, I do. I don't know about everybody else, but I do. And that's the thing. Men don't. They keep it to themselves, right? The majority of men don't. It's on a very rare occasion that you may have a man with his head on your lap and you're caressing his hair while his head is on your lap and he tells you his life story. He tells you his pain. He tells you the things that have bothered him. And you realize that there is this vulnerable side to this guy. But not everybody brings down that barrier. Not everybody talks like that. It is very important to definitely know what you're getting into. But it's also important not to second guess yourself, not to walk on eggshells, because you'll never know until you try. It's very important to try, because if you don't, you'll never know where the situation may go, right? It's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. That's a very famous saying. It's true. It's important to have that experience in your life at least. Because if you don't experience that, you don't gain anything. You don't gain that experience, right? So how can you learn anything? Maybe the next time you'll know what to avoid because you have learned a lesson. You become more wiser. So all of these things that we go through, as bad as it sounds, sometimes are for our greater good. This is for our soul. The soul becomes wiser than it already is. And I will have a totally different um, recording for that, the soul situation, the soul's goal, <laughs> the goal of the soul. Um, that is something that is very important for everybody because we do come here to planet Earth with a certain mission. And everything that we've experienced, the good, bad, and the ugly, that all is important. It all is important. We might think like, why did I have to go through this? And I agree at the time, life is terrible. Some of us go through the worst things. Some men are evil. Some men take advantage, right? They take advantage of a woman who is vulnerable. And we do not see the signs at that time because we're so in love, because we're built like that. That's what we are. We can't deny who we are. There's no reason to be rough. There's no reason to be 
you know, hard-hearted. No. You just simply haven't met the right guy. And the right guy is there, out there. One of the things I've noticed is that certain women have a particular type of guy that they like. Now, if you know, ladies, it didn't work the first time. It didn't work the next time with the other guy. And the third guy didn't work out either. Well, have you thought about rethinking your strategy? Have you thought about what type of guy you're actually looking for? And maybe it's not the right type of guy. Bad boys are always good. They're always good for something quick. And long term, it's very difficult turning somebody who you would consider a handsome, hot as hell type of bad guy <laughs> with a leather jacket and a stubble. Oh my God. Um, yeah, they're cute. I like bad guys too. They're cute. But my experience, not been so great. It's a lot of player energy that happens with those type of people. It's not that they can't change. They can. They're still human. They have a heart. But it's very rare. So if you feel that, you know, you keep thinking to yourself, why does this keep happening to me? And you're questioning yourself. You also, my dears, have to question yourself as to what is it that you keep repeating? Are you actually making the same mistakes? Was the last guy the same as this guy? And if you find that it is, if you find the guy's a narcissist, right? If you find the guy's abusive, just like the other one, pack your bags and go. You do have an option. You do have will. You have people around you. You have a lot of resources. You have people that love you. And you always have somebody. Somebody always has somebody. And somebody always has to be there for somebody else. So it is important, even if it's unfortunately an abusive relationship, you have to get out. Because it's only going to get worse. It never gets better. And another issue I've seen is a lot of women run towards the man. And I literally mean chasing the man. And, oh, they become happy that, okay, he texted me. Yes, I've been there. I've been there too many times. And I feel so happy that, oh, my God, he texted me. It's like I've got a gold sticker. Um, but what happens is he's most likely texting other people too. And the reason why he's not texting you as much is because his time and dedication is somewhere else. It truly could be that maybe he is literally just busy with a job. Maybe he's trying to... Um, settle himself in his life financially so he just can't give you that time, energy, and effort that he'd really put in. Um, there's many, many reasons why a guy does not um, engage with a girl, why he doesn't talk to a female, um, why he can't commit to a female. There's many, many reasons. Sometimes we might think that it's us. And I have seen this in readings as well where we think it's just us. It's, you know, what am I doing wrong? Sweethearts, it's not what you are doing wrong wrong. You are who you are. And you've done what you can in terms of expressing yourself and showing your love. You have done that. The man knows you. Okay? Don't think he doesn't know you. He's only with you and talking to you because he's already noticed you. You don't have to prove yourself to him any more than you already have. The issue lies with him. He is the one who is having issues. He is the one who is not confident in himself or he is the one that is suffering on the inside with some type of trauma that he's not telling you about. And many of us think that, oh my God, it was me. <laughs> I've been there. And I know many of my clients have been there. Like, what did I do wrong? And the majority of the time, all of the readings come back with the cards telling me that the person is actually completely in love with the woman. They, they like the girl, but they have their own problems. And for that reason, they feel guilty that they led the girl on in the first place. Now, by girl, you know, I mean woman, right? They feel guilty. And for that feeling of doing such a thing, 
to a woman, to such a sweet woman who's taking care of this guy who's loving him, he feels even more guilty. And so he just shuts down. He turns into a turtle or a crab and he just goes right back in his shell. He's not talking to anybody. Eventually, then, he needs to heal, which is sometimes some cards that I have talk about healing. So how is he going to change? Again, just like another video I just recently put up, which was um, the divorced or the man in separation, healing is important. A man has to heal. He has to know what he wants. On the inside, there needs to be self-reflection. And then once there's self-reflection, then it's so much easier to move forward, to know what it is that you want, to not repeat the same mistakes. But you do have to love yourself as a human being. You have to respect yourself. You have to know yourself in order to be that person who's confident, to be with the other person. This is typically why that guy that you're trying to be with, this is why he's keeping his distance. There are truly a variety of reasons. Some of it's because this guy is trying to settle down financially. They could be working somewhere else, not being able to give you the time, energy, and effort. They may be taking care of their own health or maybe someone else who is sick and they might not be telling you. They might need to be dedicating their time to their kids. Maybe they don't want to tell you about that. There's also the fact that they're just trying to recollect and trying to be that hermit on the inside and see who they are re-examining themselves. There are a variety of reasons why a guy is not able to give you exactly what it is that you want. And there's always a reason. It's very strange when people, you know, they come up to me and they, they send me their information and their scenarios, their stories, basically, their life stories. And it's very sad because everything seemed perfect on the surface, but there's some underlying factor that's like eroding, like the, the, it's just breaking away, but you don't know why it's breaking away, the connection. And it's not because he's not usually interested. If he was not interested, he wouldn't have um, been with you in the first place. But he does, a man usually typically finds a woman still very attractive even after he has left. Um, he still finds you very beautiful because that is the impression that he had right from the beginning. Um, things are very different with men. They're, they're able to compartmentalize certain feelings and emotions. They're able to do certain things at certain times and block off certain things. It's the weirdest thing. I can't do that. I'm a female, but I, I don't even know how. I can't even think of that. But men are different, okay? And we need to understand that, that their way of thinking, that their way of processing things is quite unique and quite different. Um, you know, the other thing is simply a man talking about his issues. We might get really angry at them. And we do say, tell me what's wrong. I'm not going to leave this room until you tell me what's wrong. We've said that. I've gotten yelled at a few times um, because I annoy the hell out of my husband sometimes. But I know better now what to do. You learn as time goes by, right? Um, so the best thing to do in that type of a scenario when you know that the guy is avoiding you, right? The best thing to do is simply tell him, look, I know that there's something going on and I just want to let you know that I'm here for you. If you need anything, just let me know. And just be that feminine girl. My goodness, it will melt his heart. It will melt him. He will eventually start to talk to you, but it's because you have this feminine side, so start using it. Um, you are that person out of the two, feminine, masculine. You're the feminine. You are the one that has that nurturing quality. You're the one that provides that love, that unconditional love, that good mother's love coming close to your chest, hugging him close, letting him know that it's going to be okay. Guys need that. I know it sounds really weird. Not all guys are like this, though. Not all guys are like this. Men that have high levels of testosterone are slightly different. Very alpha, but they're slightly different, but they still have that inside part, that feminine side to them too, where they are still sensitive. And the problem, like I said earlier in other videos too, that, you know, society has turned the, like the character of a man 
and to somebody who is just rock hard, like their heart is just so impenetrable. You cannot penetrate their home, their heart. It's it's very difficult to get through to a man because he's not expressive. He's not talking. He's not sharing his thoughts. Um, why do they do that? Because they don't want to look weak. Because traditionally, a man is supposed to be, you know, the leader of the pack, right? The head of the household. That's the traditional way. And so a lot of guys don't open up. Um, it's like that same old saying, boys don't cry. And I told you before that I don't like that saying because they do cry. And it's important to teach young men and to teach men, uh, boys, that it's okay to be themselves. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be that person who can express themselves. Because once men start to express themselves, life gets a whole lot easier, right? They can talk. But the nature of a man is very different than a woman. We talk. Men usually talk what they only want to tell and expose, and the rest they keep to themselves because they feel it's unnecessary. It's just like when we go shopping. We love spending hours in the store. I do. But when you're with a man, very typical man, an alpha male, you just go quickly to the store, you know what you want, and you come out. I mean, honestly, what's the fun in that? I don't see it that way, but that's the way it is with guys, right? Um, it's very typical. So we have to acknowledge the fact that, yes, we are women, and yes, we do have different characteristics and traits. This is who we are. We can't change. We don't have to change. And this is why men love us. This is why whoever loves you and whoever admires you, they admire you because of what you have and who you are and what you always had and the fact that you don't change. Not a lot of men like change either. If you've been in a relationship in the beginning and you were, you know, one type of a girl, okay, like a, a female that has certain characteristics and traits, and over the years you decide to change, to a certain degree, yes, you can change and evolve, but there has to be that fundamental aspect that still stays the same, the one that he fell in love with. If you change that, he will leave. He won't want to be with you anymore because you are no longer that person. And sometimes we as females do change, we do evolve, and we want something different. And that is okay. There's many people out there in the world Anybody can be with anybody, but it truly depends on how two people can get along, and especially with different cultured people, too. That's another issue. Sometimes I've seen a lot of issues with um, interracial and uh, people that are from different cultures. My dears, that is the end of this recording. Um, I hope I was somehow able to provide some help, some guidance. To some of you, um, this is information that I have seen, that I've gone through repeatedly throughout all of these readings that I do, and I help um, a lot of women out there. And I've realized over time, because I too used to think, you know, men are, men are bad, men are all the same, men are just selfish, and there's, there's only one thing that they want. The thing is that men are instinctively very impulsive, compulsive, and aggressive. That's an instinctive thing from the times when we were cavemen and dwellers. They're very, very compulsive. There's that impulse, right? Impulse. Just like just like a hunting dog. Suddenly it hears something and it, boom, goes right towards it, right? That's exactly, and I'm sorry, to, I'm not comparing men to dogs, but I love dogs, by the way. Um, but it's the instinct. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's a quick instinct. So they are very aggressive. They are very impulsive. So yes, they do sometimes do things that, you know, suddenly you're talking and the next thing you know, you're making out in the corner in the stairwell. Um, anything could happen, right? But it's an impulse. And it's something that is very natural. And of course, we have hormones. That's another thing to look into, right? Um it's very difficult for some guys to not have that. And it's just, it's so difficult for some guys to be around a woman who is very good looking because they feel, they feel that they won't be able to control themselves around the woman. They literally feel like they will go crazy. They'll go nuts. And they may hurt the woman because he might be too aggressive with her. 
There are also men like that out there. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, my dears. I hope this was helpful for some of you out there. And uh, do let me know in the comments below. And if there are any males out there, hello to you. <laughs> I hope uh, I was able to um, give you guys some insight as well for all the men and women out there. All right. You all take care and stay safe. Bye now.